in to the online broadcast network. After Buzz TV, over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Oh, shoot. Oh. Heavy metal? What is this? <laughs> Here we go. Okay. I can get it with it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm feeling this. This is what happens when uh, our producers uh, pick the music. We get some heavy metal. What is this, Steven? Can you tell Both me? Both the personality. Okay. Uh, okay. It's pretty I'm, wild. I love yeah, it. Yeah. I, 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 I'll go with it. Amen. So, um, what's up, everybody? This is the Are You The One After Show. I'm your host, of course, Lim Gonzalez, and I'm always excited to be here at After Buzz. And this is an amazing show. Uh, of course, I can't do it by myself. Mm -hmm. I do have the lovely, the talented, the outstanding Kendra Summer. What's up? Well, that's all you got? I, I mean, that was like three things. Oh, like, what okay. did you? I thought we were gonna shoot for four. Well, oh, okay. Next time. <laughs> next time. Next time. Um, but yeah, we're gonna hold it down tonight. Um, mm -hmm. The title of this episode is "The Truth Will Cost You," mm -hmm. and uh, those of you that are fans of this show, you know that the Truth Booth is something that um, a lot of people dread, or some people are excited about, depending on who you're matched with. But we're gonna talk about that in a minute, right? Yeah. Well, you know what I'm really excited what about. What are you excited about? We have Tyler Pratt calling in tonight. Oh yes, that's yes. right. Yes, that's awesome. Yes, I, he's gonna dish on a, uh, on his love. Um, yeah, in Paris. I hope so. I hope he dishes on a lot. Yeah, kind of gives us an insight, you know, on the show, and uh, kind of lets us know what's going on. So let's get started. Um, it episode starts off. The uh, the girls are, are frustrated, right? Mm -hmm. They're frustrated of what's going on because, uh, as we saw the first episode, um, and I don't those of you that didn't watch the uh, the first season, um, first season had ten guys and ten girls. And so this season, they kind of put a twist to it and added an 11th girl. Mm -hmm. So that girl has basically two, or she's matched with someone else. So a guy has two matches. Yes. The 11th girl and someone else. But if she is, this 11th girl, is matched with someone uh, before the season is over, that other girl has to leave. Yes. Done. Yeah. No money, no, money. no love. Mm -hmm. So no money, no honey. No, like, right? like I said last week, it's such a sour deal for yeah, whoever is. this girl is, right. you know, I feel bad. Yeah, it, it, it does suck, it does suck, but of course it does bring drama, which yes. is why we watch the show. And we'll have to have her on our show after. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Uh, so the girls are obviously frustrated, this is right after the, the uh, first elimination, or not elimination, but first uh, ceremony, matchup mm -hmm. ceremony is what they call it. And so they're frustrated because, you know, again, um, there's 11 of them and 10 guys, so it's really not fair. Um, but there are also some couples that are hitting it off, so we mm -hmm see uh, Shelby and Nathan yes. are hitting it off pretty good. Um, Jenny and Layton um, are still going strong. But they have a love triangle. They do have kind of, why don't you talk about that? What's, what's the love triangle going on? Well, uh, it's Layton and Jenny, and then there's Jess. Mm -hmm. And um, it, these two girls could not be more different. Um, Jenny, first of all, let me give a shout out. I talked to her this week, and she is a Packer fan. So oh, really? I'm, I'm loving on Jenny. And you're from Wisconsin, right? I'm from right? Wisconsin, right. so yeah, we have that in common. Nice. Um, but these two girls are so different. Jenny is so Midwest, mm -hmm. and I love it. And then Jessica, she's, you know, in the first episode, she said that she lets herself go too easy, right, and we know right. there was that thing right. with Anthony that we don't right. really want to talk about because it's in the past. Right, right, like two days in the past, but okay. Two days in the past, sure. moving forward. <laughs> right. Um, but, I mean, Layton has said that he's attracted to both girls, but mm -hmm. the question is, who does he see more as a girlfriend material right so I think just on that topic I think he's definitely um, more on the side of Jenny mm -hmm. um, just because it seems like he fits her personality better um, he's also he's from the Midwest as well correct oh he, he's from Mississippi he's from Mississippi yes. okay so Greenville. he's from the south mm -hmm. so I mean very similar though Midwest South a little bit similar mm -hmm. um, whereas you know I don't know that he's you know, he's on, uh, um, what's her name? The other one. Jessica. Jessica. Yes. And I think Jessica is very being very forward with him. There's a scene where he she like wants him to kiss her. And he's just like, nah, wow. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. And it's interesting because, 
you know, I like how you use the term, she let herself go. Yes. Uh, so it's like, uh, you know, let it go, let it go. Yeah. So anyway. Frozen, okay. Right, 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 Whoa. right. <laughs> um, but she let herself go. So she says she didn't like, she, she's that's her her, her nature. She yes. does this in relationships. She gets with guys. You know, um, she lets herself go uh, too soon or mm -hmm. what have you. Um, but she's doing the same thing. Yeah. And Leighton is like, I'm good. I'm not having it. So I think it's interesting that she was kind of up to old tricks again, yes. um, which is why I think he's more leaning towards Jenny. I totally agree. And then even like on the pilot episode last week, mm -hmm. he said that, you know, my parents have been married for 35 years. Right, and right. I think he's really looking for someone serious. And I, I think this girl would be more of like a one night of fun. Exactly. Exactly. As she's, you know, that, that's what's happened already. Uh, and I think that's part of the reason why maybe he is backing off because he knows that she's already been with someone. Mm -hmm. So he's kind of like, I don't know if I want to go down that road. Yeah. You know, Smart. Um, Brandon Christina is another one. Um, and Christina, we we're talking about the 11th girl. Yeah. She is the 11th girl, but she's actually got somebody snagged already. Yeah. Uh, Brandon, and they're hitting it off really good. Um, and it's funny because um, you see her and it's like she just it's like this. this <laughs> I don't want to say cloud, but she has kind of this this thing aura around her because she intimidates all the women she because does. they know that if she finds her match, yeah. one of them is going home empty handed. They're terrified of the 11th girl. Yeah. You know, um, I my heart goes out to her because mm -hmm. I know when the topic of the 11th girl was first introduced, all right. the girls were like, oh, oh my yes. gosh, I did not sign up for this. Exactly. You know, exactly. And she's really pulled it together. Mm -hmm. And I think that I think she's going to be a real threat. As we saw in the episode, she was the one that went to the truth booth. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Which I think was smart. But we'll get into that in just a second. Mm -hmm. um, let's go into the challenge. Um, so they always have some type of challenge. And with the challenge, um, that's to basically uh, allow three couples yep. to go and have some alone time and kind of get to know each other. And so either the guys will get to pick or the girls will get to pick, depending on the challenge. Yes. In this case, um, the guys were the ones that had to kind of um, do the challenge. So it was basically... Mounds of sand, um, and there were quotes mm -hmm. in the mounds of sand, uh, and the guys had to find these quotes and then pair up the quotes with which girl they thought said it. Yes. So you have all these guys digging in the sand, uh -huh. getting these quotes out, attaching it to it, and these are like, of course, ridiculous, like embarrassing quotes. Yeah. Um, the f I, <laughs> yeah, I was just going to mention <laughs> the one that probably had me the most was uh, the smelly farts. Oh my gosh, I love that. Um, who was Ashley? Yes. Oh. Um, and oh. it was funny how she said it because she like raised her hand. And she's like, oh, that's me. Yeah. I was like, that's so ballsy, girl, to admit that on national TV, right. you know, like. But it's funny because she's super cute. And yeah. it's like, really? Oh, I don't know if I want to date you now because I, you have some really far. I know. But whatever, you know, at least she's honest about it. She is honest about <laughs> it. And I'm sure she's the type of person that would like to have fun and uh -huh. not really be, you know, yeah. stuck up or anything. She just have a good time. Definitely. Sure. Um, so when the challenge is over, um, we have uh, Curtis, Alex and Brandon win. Yes. Okay. So Curtis picks Brianna. Yep. Um, Alex picks Jasmine and Brandon, lo and behold, picks Christina. Like that was Didn't a shocker. Right. Exactly. Um, so they're, of course, they're super excited. Yep. Um, and then their, their, their winnings is um, they get to Google zip lining, yeah. which is happens to be the, t the highest one in the world. And how fun did that look? Dude. Uh. Oh my gosh. They were like, they look like Superman. Yeah. They were like, you know, like, you know, just uh -huh. had it out and was going down. I've usually, you see them kind of sitting in a harness yeah. um, and uh, you know, you kind of go down and it still looks fun, but they look like they were literally flying. Well, when we were watching earlier, I know you were like, I want to be on this. We should be on right. this show exactly. just to do this. Just like. to do zip lining. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so um, while they're off, you know, kind of doing their thing, um, before they actually get to go on the uh, on the date, um, there's some planning and some plotting yes. going on. Um, because at the end of the day, this is a game. We mm -hmm. know that. And so because it's a game, the game is, uh, for those of you that um, haven't seen the first episode, um, shame on you. Watch yes. it on uh, online, on demand. Um, <laughs> but... They have to, if they find their perfect match within 10 tries, mm -hmm. they have 10 tries to do it, um, they get to split a million dollars. So that equates to $50,000 a piece, which is nice. It's a nice chunk of change. Very hefty. Yeah. You know, MTV's biggest prize to date, as they say. So, again, it's a game. Mm -hmm. So they have to play the game. So what they're doing is they know that they can only vote one couple into the truth booth. Yep. And typically the strategy has been, um, for those of you that saw last season, is to vote the couple that you think is most compatible. Mm -hmm. 
Because if they are found to be a match, then they get to go off and kind of do their thing. But then that's one less person you have to worry about matching up. Yeah. So, um, of course, they're plotting, and, and I think it's smart, mm -hmm. um, that they're plotting. A lot of them are plotting to put Brandon and Christina because if they are a match, then that takes away that match. But yep. then also the extra girl yeah. that's attached to, if it's going to be Brandon, then also leaves. So then that's nine matches that they have, yeah. and they can just focus on doing that. Well, it's a big stress you know, off of the house, and then they've knocked out a couple people. Right, exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. So um, they're, they're planning that. Some, some are against it mm -hmm. um, because their thing is they feel like, uh, well, if we do that, um, then what's going to happen is um, they're going to basically um, get rid of somebody and their heart's going to be broken, mm -hmm. and it's just not fair. Yeah. So my thing is somebody's going to leave at some point in time. Yeah. So either it's now, you know, or later. So anyway, but um, I just got the nod. We actually have our guest is on the line, oh. and I'm very excited. I'm very Tyler, excited. are you there? Uh, yes, I'm here. Mr. Pratt, how hey. you doing, man? I'm doing great. How are you guys doing? Oh, man, doing awesome. Uh, this is Lim. I'm talking to you, and of course, I have Kendra here with me. Say hi to him, this Kendra. This is Kendra. Hey. Hi, Kendra. <laughs> hey, I just want to say thank you for staying up so late because I know you're on a different time zone than us, and we really appreciate it. Uh, I'm on a, uh, I'm a night owl. I'll be up till four in the morning anyway. So. Oh wow! Oh, perfect. <laughs> well, cool. We'll just do the show for three hours. <laughs> yeah, awesome. we'll just extend it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, we can stay on. We can keep talking. We can talk. We don't even have to talk about the show. We can talk about sports. Every, every, talk about exactly. Movies. We can talk, talk about, about the Packers. Guys. What did yeah. you guys do today? Are you a Packer fan? Uh, no, I'm a diehard Pittsburgh Steelers fan. I'm sorry. Oh, let's end the call right now. Uh, done. Uh, yeah, up. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm sorry for you for being a Packer fan. <laughs> oh, it started up. Oh, no. <laughs> Our producer is looking like, uh, okay, is this really going to go on three hours? <laughs> um, okay, so, Tyler, we have a few questions for you. First of all, um, definitely enjoying the show. Mm -hmm. um, and everything is, I watched last season. I loved it last season. Um, and I see you as one of those principal characters that is interesting to watch. Um, first off, um, when you got on the show, um, how was it for you? Like, were you overwhelmed? I mean, you see these these 11, you know, it ends up being 11 this season, beautiful women. Did you feel overwhelmed? Did you feel at home? You know, how, how, was, how was the feeling? Um, I mean, I don't think anything could describe that initial, you know, when we're lined up in front of the house and, mm -hmm. you, you know, uh, I'm staring across the way at 10 beautiful girls and then, you know, Ryan decides to call out an 11th. Right. Um, <laughs> you know, it's kind of, it's, it's exhilarating. It's, it's, you know, I don't think anybody could be at home in that situation. If you're at home in that situation, we need to hang out. So you can <laughs> right. Your ways. Yes. right, right. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Wow. Well, that's really great. Um, okay, so I have a question. Um, on the first uh, challenge, you were you picked Paris, and how? Did, why did you pick her? Was it love at first sight, or how did you go about that? Um, it wasn't love at first sight with Paris. Um, you know, in the house originally, uh, you know, I was trying to feel out as many girls as I could, of course, like every guy there was. Mm -hmm. Um, and my initial thought about her, I was like, ah, she, you know, she was kind of like shutting me down quick, like. Okay. Um, I think in one of the clips you even see her say like, oh, is that how you get your girls? You're just like spread, spread eagle in front of them. They just like flock to you. Uh, so she, she talked down to me a little bit at first. Ah, um, okay. Yeah. But then it, you know, it took some over. We talked about it. And after we really got to know each other, um, after that first day, really got into some conversation. I was like, this is exactly what my family would want me to go for. This is the girl of my dreams. Uh, you know, physically she's beautiful and mm -hmm. she's a goofball. So we knew right away, I was like, I'm going to pick you for the challenge. I was like, no matter what we have to do, make sure we get the other for this challenge. Right. If I have to punch somebody out, which let's see, I think I'd mark my territory enough <laughs> that nobody picked her. So. Right. Now, um, speaking of that and picking her and, and going through the challenge, there was a little bit of controversy mm -hmm. that we saw in the first episode uh, with you and her. You guys kind of uh, fake the funk, so to speak, um, acted like you didn't really like each other as much as you did uh, simply because you didn't want to get voted into the truth booth. Um, was that something you guys devised as a plan together? Um, was it something you initiated? Um, was it a result of watching the first season and kind of seeing how that went? Um, I never watched the first season, actually. I still okay. haven't seen it. Okay. Um, so I, when going into this, um, it was week one, and mm -hmm. the way we looked at it was this. Uh, there were several different reasons to it. For one, I, I, I was starting to fall for it really hard. Okay. And, um, you know, I was like, I'm not ready to go into the truth booth, uh, you know, and us not be a match. Mm -hmm. 
and then for the next nine weeks, you know, find her hooking up with every time in the house. You know, I was right, I was like, I will drag this on <laughs> as long as I can to shorten that time of her not being my match. Then there's the other point. Okay, let's say we are a match. Then we go to the tr- we go to the honeymoon suite, and I'm there with this girl that I barely even know in a honeymoon right. suite, sleeping with her for the next nine weeks. Ah. Okay. <laughs> then there's then there's the third point that you know she. You know, and this is more on her that she wanted, you know, she wanted to party. She enjoyed the house, you know, and, and like I said uh, on the show, I said, you know, I just wanted her to be happy. And I and I kind of said, I was like, I'm more than fine with going to the truth booth if that's what you want to do. Or we can, you know, come up with this. And she, you know, this fight, which was my idea, and mm-hmm. she was like, let's roll with it. She loved it. Awesome. And uh, we, we went with it and everyone kind of fell for it. So. Mm-hmm. Well, it seems like you guys have great communication. And uh, Pratt, I was a little caught off guard in this week's episode when you guys had the um, the challenge with the quotes, and you didn't get Paris's. Yeah, yes. well, I mean, <laughs> hers is about you know her criminal record. And, I mean, yes. I had only known her for a couple of days. It's not like I was, you know, I don't sit down with a girl on the first date and right. say, okay, what have you been arrested for? Right, right. <laughs> oh, um, so you don't do that. She, uh, you know, <laughs> I wasn't, I, w- I wasn't too shocked there that I, I missed that. You know, and th- when I went into that challenge, um, and you could see I was kind of one of the first guys done there. Right. Um, you know, I looked at the, I sized the guys up. I'm the most physical there. So I was like, I'm going to dominate this challenge physically, get done first. Who, I don't care where I threw, cause it was all a hope and a prayer mm-hmm. where I threw those, those, uh, those little banners anyway. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I'll just get, as long as I'm done first, I have a chance of winning this. Right. Which, you know, it proved that was the wrong strategy in the end. Got it. Fair enough. Well, um, it, there was a time that there was some, uh, after the, uh, the, the couple that was voted in, um, it was, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, who was it was voted in? It was Brandon, Brandon and Christina. Thank yes. you. Brandon and Christina, Chris, Christina that was voted in. Um, and then they came back and they were not a match. Uh, they come back and then there's a lot of drama going on because it looks like uh, Christina's upset. She's crying. Uh, Brandon, um, he's upset too because he really likes her mm-hmm. and he really wants to be with her. But now he knows that because they're not a match, they have to kind of find whoever their match is and kind of stop dating. Um, it seemed like you weren't really concerned with it because you and Paris went upstairs and looked like you guys got busy like is, did you did you just not care or were you just really um, wanted to be well, with Paris what happened what happened after after they found out they weren't a match is I I was there for him because I felt you know I was like this could have easily been you know me and Paris last mm-hmm, week mm-hmm. this so I you know I was there for him I you know I, for both of them um and, you know, immediately, uh, immediately afterwards, everyone sits down and they, they're talking strategy. And, you know, I'm like, this is not, okay, we just, we need to calm down. We, sometimes you just need to take a step back, especially right. in this situation. And, you know, uh, if you want to call what me and Paris did taking a step back, uh, you know, <laughs> that, we really took a couple steps back. That's and a we, great we step We removed back. ourselves from the situation and we went up to the, uh, we went up to pound town. Right. <laughs> 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 As you oh. like to. And I and I and I was the mayor. And you were <laughs> the hotel. Oh my gosh. Wow. Um well speaking of the pound down, um, are we gonna be seeing more of the uh boom boom room in the later on in the season? Because um I feel like it hasn't really been that prevalent in the episodes until recently. Well, with this cast it seems like uh all the hooking up has been it they don't really care where they hook up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Um, but I, you know, I, you just have to stay and watch to see who ends up going up there, who doesn't, and where, if who hooks up, you know, somewhere else in the house. Okay. Well, we have one more question for you. Um, <laughs> Liam wants me to ask it. Oh, boy. Get ready. Um, okay. Okay, so we were watching uh, the episode, and Paris, we were kind of shocked by this. She kind of uh, burned you a little bit with one of the comments to the other cast member. Yes. Do you want to elaborate? <laughs> you can elaborate, Liam. <laughs> um, yeah, she, she, uh, you know, she uh, kind of bashes my, uh, my, uh, my downstairs mixer. Yeah, <laughs> which we were like shocked because we, you know, caught us off guard. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, just the same as you guys. I, that was my my first time watching it uh, mm. as well. You know, I wasn't in the room. I I didn't know she said that, but. Um, 
you know, the way I the way I look at it is, I mean, you guys saw last night, as, you know, as well that you know she was clearly enjoying uh, what was going on up there. Right. So um, I can't. <laughs> I'm not going to comment on my my <laughs> there, but oh, she wow. she enjoyed it. So. That's all that matters, man. That's all that matters. Wow. Exactly. That's all that matters. But man, I just want to say that we do appreciate you being here with us, Tyler. Um, and definitely we want to know where can the people find you, the fans mm-hmm. that are watching the show, where can they find you on social media? Um, they can find me, uh, you know, at my on my Facebook fan page. That's uh, MTV Tyler Pratt. Mm-hmm. Uh, they can find me on Instagram and Twitter. My handle is Pratt underscore MTV. I'm, I'm really interactive with all that stuff, so I really encourage everyone to go. Awesome. You know, check me out on all that. Awesome. Well, we'll definitely do that, um, and we'll definitely uh, make sure that that happens. And again, want to thank you for coming thank and so and being on the show. And and if we get a chance to have you back again, will you come back and be on the show with us? Oh, of course. This is. I mean, this is always fun. I enjoy watching you guys as it is. So yeah. awesome. he said he Anytime liked I can our help dance. Out. He, he liked our dance, didn't you, last week? All the girls danced <laughs> last week. Yeah, I, I, you know, if, if like I said, if, if that's what you call a dance, uh, sure. <laughs> Ouch! Not hey, cool, Pat. Hey, okay. Hey, hey, I saw it too, man. I, I'm with you. Oh, nah. he's just jealous <laughs> he wasn't involved, okay? Well, thanks again, Tyler. We appreciate it, man. Have a good night, man, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Thank you guys very much. All right. Bye. Tyler. What a great guy. Great guy. Yeah. And I can't believe you asked him that question. Uh, well, you told me to. <laughs> do not set me up for this, Liam. Do well, the not. Thing, well, the thing is, you're not supposed to say like I asked. Uh, like, it was a joy. You're trying to put me what? under the bus. It's cool. It was a communal cool. ask. But he, yeah, was, he, was, he was cool with it. He was cool with yeah. it. It was funny. <laughs> it was funny. Um, so getting back on the show, um, and that kind of leaves us on a good note where he kind of told us about that. Okay. Um, no, the couples go ziplining. Um, we find out that the couples that are together... Uh-huh. Uh, some of them aren't making strides. So no. Alex and Jasmine are complete opposites. So total opposite, you know. Just everything that she was saying, he mm-hmm. was like, I'm not feeling this, not right. putting it down. Right. And um, you could tell that he was kind of getting almost pissed off right. by the whole situation. Exactly, exactly. Um, now, Brianna um, had a, a good moment um, mm-hmm. and very heartfelt moment. She opens up about having a miscarriage yeah. to Curtis. Um, I thought that was really... Number one, I thought that was really brave for her. Mm -hmm. Um, These people obviously are trying to get to know each other. Yeah. And um, the more that you can reveal to this person, the more that you will find out if they are a match with you. And I thought it was very brave for her to open up to Curtis, Mm -hmm. who is somebody that she definitely likes. Uh, Matter of fact, in the matchup ceremony, they said that they were kind of the poster couple for being a match. So she definitely likes him. Mm -hmm. It seemed like they have a really good relationship. uh, And she opens up to him, and he's very supportive. Well, even what she said, like, Mm -hmm. I feel used, and I'm already used. Right. I I was touched that he was like, you never have to feel like this. And just so supportive for not knowing her that well. Right. And I just feel like that bond they built on this date is mm-hmm. is going to go throughout the season. And I guarantee that they are going to be a match. I just feel it. You think that oh, they are a perfect match? I feel it. And I'm so happy to see this Brianna mm-hmm. triumph because last week, you know, she was the one that had to go to the hospital right. for getting hit in the face. Exactly. And the boogered up nose. <laughs> I'm so happy to see her bounce back. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And she has a good guy. She does. Um, she has a good guy. So. Yeah. Um, like we told, talked about before, Brandon and Katrina get voted in. They're not a match. You know, we were talking with Tyler and he was kind of explaining how everybody was. And what we saw sounds like what was actually yeah. happening. You know, they were emotional. Um, the people consoling them. And it's funny, too, because um, some of the same girls that didn't like Christina are now, like, uh, consoling her because they kind of have that, you know, sisterly bond. Like, well, wait a second. She's still a female. Yeah. She's still a woman. Uh-huh. She still has feelings. Uh, forget the game. Let's, you know, be a sister to her. Well, even Paris, you know, I think she was probably feeling like, oh, that could have been me last week with right. Pratt. But she goes, you know, my feelings totally turned for Christina within, like, two seconds. And mm-hmm. she's over there. She's hugging her and I felt like she was almost kind of getting mad at the rest of the cast that were trying to figure out a strategy. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. No, absolutely. Um, so I thought, but I thought it was good. I thought it was a good gesture for them to do that because at the end of the day, these are people. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's a game and you're going to have the people that play the game and don't really try to get their feelings involved. Yeah. But I think I've kind of put myself in that situation. Well, I don't know that <laughs> I would put myself in this situation because it's tough. Yes. And, and what I what I mean by that is you in a situation where you could potentially very like some, you know, like someone a lot yep. or fall in love mm-hmm. for that matter. And then that could not be your match. And then you have to stop communication with them, stop pursuing them and go to somebody else. That's hard on the heartstrings. Or you could still pursue them on the sly. 
You could, but then that creates controversy. Yes, and that creates good TV, right? Well, and that's why they do it. Yes. And that's why we watch. So it gets down to the matchup ceremony, uh, which happens at the end of every show. Yes. And they basically have uh, the girls this time Mm -hmm. uh, pick who they want. Um, And so Jessica picked Layton, which was interesting. She kind of got the jump on that. Um, Shelby picks Dario, um, who she was kind of talking to, we saw briefly. um, But he, like, goes and kisses her, uh, like, to kind of prove that he's, you know, they have chemistry. That was way too... Yeah. Uh, I thought that was a little tacky. Yeah. I did think that was a little tacky. Um, Shelby looked like she was caught off guard. I mean, she kind of played it off. She's like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. that just happened. But you can I tell. think deep down she was not... She was very uncomfortable. Yeah, she, that yeah. was very uncomfortable. Um, Paris picks Tyler. Of course. Um, Jasmine picks Jean. Yep. Um, because obviously she didn't have chemistry uh, with the person that she was with. Yep. Um, we have Tyler who picks Brandon, uh, and then Brandon doesn't want to get up. Yeah, what was up with that? Yeah, he, well, again, he's reeling over the mishap that happened because, you know, he went in with Christina, yeah. and they were not a match. I so mean, he's still reeling from that. But the thing is, it's like, okay, guy, I understand you're feeling some kind of way, but at the end of the day, you have to play this game. Yeah. And if somebody picks you, you have to basically oblige with that. You can't just sit there and like, no, I'm not going to get up. He like completely threw her some shade. You right. know, he, he's like, I'm not going to get up. I mean, and also like you're hurting the rest of the group's morale exactly. when you do that because exactly. you're kind of destroying your teamwork and exactly. the, what you've built. Exactly. I don't like that. Absolutely. And it, and it was a and it was a diss to Tyler mm-hmm. who was already feeling some kind of way because she felt dissed by the person that she likes. Yeah, and she didn't get picked last week. So right. I feel so bad for this girl. Week after week, time mm-hmm. after time, you know, she's just getting it and getting it. All all the time. Mm-hmm. So, um, and matter of fact, Alex, who was the person that she was liking, yeah, he dissed her earlier in the show. Okay, you know, why did he have lipstick on his cheek? Um, I just I, want to talk about that. No did anyone idea. else see that this kid had lipstick on his yeah, cheek? Yeah, he okay. had lipstick on his cheek. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think maybe it's a new accessory. Maybe yeah. that's that's what everyone's doing now. What was he they're, doing? They're, they're getting they're getting lipstick on their cheek, like it's like a necklace or something or a bracelet. Yeah, it's like uh, maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll get that. And then walk around, and then yeah. people will think I'm fly. No, so they you're won't. doing the Alex. No, I'm not going <laughs> to do that ever. Um, so at the end of the day, everyone gets picked. Uh-huh. Um, it does come down. Speaking of Alex, goes down to Alex. Um, Alex is picked by Christina. Yes. Um, she picks him last, but then because um, Christina is the one that she can pick anyone. Yes. Now Ellie picked Alex first. Yes. So, but Christina always has to go last because, again, she's the 11th girl. Yes. So then Alex now has to pick who he feels most compatible with to make the match. Uh And then he picks Christina Mm -hmm. and then leaves Ellie out. And Ellie also is one of the girls that's kind of feeling some kind of way because she was picked like second to last during the last ceremony and she's not really vibing with anybody. She doesn't really have chemistry with anybody. Her and Tyler are kind of forming uh, union for being the two last girls picked. Right. But she's not really right. feeling any of the guys. But in that's the what house. I'm saying. Yeah. Like none of the I don't think well, I don't know that she's not feeling the guys. I don't think the guys are not feeling, feeling really her. her. Which is sad because I yeah. really like her like sass. Right. She's got like this like fun right. little like attitude that I really like. Right. No, she's she seems like she's super fun. Yeah. Down south, you know, she's got that, you know, heavy, heavy accent. I love which it. I think is super cute. Yeah. Um but yeah, for whatever reason she's just not vibing with the guys yet. So um it'll be interesting to see how to you know how things play out and if she can kind of connect with someone yeah Um, because I think for her um, I mean it's her personality is what makes her her oh yeah definitely so I think it's just going to come down to somebody really grabbing onto that personality yeah and find out she's a dope chick yeah so speaking of dope I forgot to give Alex Phillips a shout out today's his birthday awesome yeah happy birthday Alex happy birthday rock the lipstick that's right that's right that's right he's actually uh, lives in LA he does he should come on our show he should Alex you should come on the show you should hang out with us yeah Uh, and our producer Steve that's how we get down yeah we're cool in here right Steve exactly (laughs) he's like I'm too cool to talk okay so um (laughs) at the end of course they have the ceremony uh they don't get 10 matches um which I figured wasn't going to happen in mm-hmm. the second show, um, but they did, you know, do a good job. Mm-hmm. So obviously after that, it goes into, you know, what's going to happen next. Yes. So I think that's a good segue now to do predictions. So let's do that. Ooh. And now you're after Buzz TV predictions. Okay, Kendra. So um, we'll start with you. Okay. Predictions. What do you predict going forward into the next episode? Let's see. Like couple wise, what do you think? Couples, okay. you think anybody's gonna thrive? You think somebody's gonna get shut down? You think there's gonna be some new matches that happen uh-huh. based on what happened? What do you think? 
Uh, okay. I think um, Brandon is going to try to still be with Christina. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to happen on the sly. Absolutely. Definitely can Absolutely. see that. Um, also, I think that Curtis and Brianna are going to be together. Mm -hmm. And then um, Pratt and Paris are going to go strong. And then um, I think... I feel like something's going to erupt with this love triangle we've got cooking over here, mm -hmm. Leighton, and then the J-squares. Mm. The J-squares. <laughs> yeah. I, I wa I'm really rooting for Jenny, but I just, I don't know. I just feel like they're not, somehow, they're not going to be completely compatible, you which is a so. bummer, because I really would like them to be together. Right. Interesting. Um, well, I'll say that I think that Jenny is, I'm going to disagree with you on that one. I think Jenny is going to be compatible with Leighton. Okay. I think once um, <laughs> the other girl <laughs> leaves him alone, yeah, yeah. Um, that keeps trying to holler at him. But I do think Jenny and Leighton um, have a good chemistry. Um, it would be interesting to see them. I, I want to see them at least go through the truth booth yeah. at one point in time just to kind of see. But I definitely think they're a strong match. I do agree that <clears throat> Brandon and Christina are going to try to see each other on the sly, definitely. which happened last uh, season yep. um, because there was a couple very similar uh, that were like madly in love and they found out they weren't a match and basically um, they still try to see each other. So yeah. I definitely see that happening with them because they both seem mutually. Uh, I, but I do think, I will say that I think Brandon's more on than Christina. Definitely. I think Christina can kind of pull back and I think she can kind of be like, okay, let me see what else is out yeah. there. Whereas Brandon, he seems like, based on his actions in the ceremony, yeah. he's head over heels he, for her. I think he's like all or nothing. And I think yeah. right now he's like, all for her and exactly. he's completely heartbroken right and he super is sad. he is he is um i i want to say that i think ellie is gonna in next episode i think she's gonna find somebody who i think she's gonna start I, I don't know who yet but i think she's gonna start gravitating to someone like i said earlier i think her personality is gonna shine mm -hmm. super super strong and they're gonna see either she's gonna win because this time it's the girls challenge yeah so if she wins a challenge or gets the top three yeah she's gonna pick somebody and I think whoever she picks is gonna be somebody and I think there's gonna be some chemistry there. maybe it could be Garland since we haven't really could seen be. him and could we really be. should see more of him yeah, okay. it could be it could be so I think that's it but ladies and gentlemen that is our show for tonight mm -hmm. want to thank you again for joining us um, we're going to be here always. Make sure also uh, go down to iTunes. Uh, we're on iTunes. Uh, After Buzz uh, is on over 100 countries. Uh, and we are strong presence there. You can go. You can download our podcast. You can also rate us. Five stars is the rating that we want. How many, Kendra? Five. Maybe Five stars. Ten. That's what we want. And so... Yeah. Oh, where can they find you? Uh, well, I'm going to say that. Oh, okay. Uh, you can find me on social media, Twitter, and Instagram at The Poet Saint. Kendra, can you, where they can find you? Find me at Kendra Summer, K E N D R A S O M M E R, on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. All right. Uh, Thanks again. We're out. Bye. See you next Thank week. Thank you, Tyler. From executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.